What do people not recognize as bullying, but actually is? Belittling people for asking genuine questions, or shaming them for not knowing what is polite based on your specific culture and lifestyle. People come from all different generations, cultures, and walks of life and what is considered polite versus offensive really does vary. There are much better ways to teach people why you prefer certain language over others than using shame. There were girls in my year at school that used to shout out oh wow where did you get your hair done to me which never seemed like an insult until you saw them giggling and pointing and teachers never picked up on it. Heck it took me a while to figure it out myself until one girl confessed at the end of the year that they were making fun of my hair. My teachers sure didn't recognize things like kicking the back of my chair over and over again and laughing as bullying, but it was to me. That's totally bullying. I'm sorry that they didn't stop it. Some of the worst bullying doesn't touch the victim at all, doesn't use bad words. It's often done right in front of the clueless teachers, or other authority figures. That's the point. It's the bully flexing that they can torture you openly in public and get away with it. It's the awful plausible deniability that makes you so sure that even if you reached out for help nobody would even believe that you were being bullied at all. Provoking someone's anger so much that almost anyone on earth would eventually retaliate physically, thus leading to the bullying victim getting into trouble. Basically anything that uses manipulation and is sneaky and deceptive so that is flies under the radars or either school teachers or law enforcement authorities. Yup, and the non-violent version of subtly needling harassing someone until they snap at you get mad so that the bully can cry about what a mean and evil person they are. Usually with the end goal of turning people against the victim further isolating them. Manipulative bullying is the worst kind to me if only because it's so easy for the bully to hide get people to blame the victim. Not sure if it was bullying but it was hella damaging to my psyche. Whenever I invited my friends somewhere they'd always come. But they never invited me. They'd talk about how much fun they all had over the weekend right in front of me. I was getting indisputably bullied, like rocks thrown at me. And in my suicide note I wrote my bullies care more about hating me than my friends do liking me. When people get called on their terrible behavior and try to pretend they're the victim instead of actually taking accountability for their actions. People frick up. It happens all the time. It's easy to say sorry, learn your lesson and not do the crappy thing again. It's more subtle, but I think toxic positivity is just bullying someone into shutting up about their unpleasant feelings. Just think about happy things, be positive. There are people who have it so much worse. Yeah, frick you, Pollyanna. I get to feel things. Toxic positivity is 100% a thing. People in relationships who manipulate the other if they're growing as a person out of fear of them changing too much or losing them. Happens more often than you think. My wife once told me that she didn't want me to go to the gym. I was getting into strongman crap because she didn't want other women to find me attractive. I think that counts. Mind you we're healthier now, not physically. I'm morbidly obese. Backhanded compliments. Wow that haircut looks good on you. It covers the acne on your forehead really well it's an insult not a compliment. I wish people would notice this more. It's like a worse form of being passive aggressive. Telling your child they need to lose weight. When they comply, you still offer them food. When they refuse because of what you said, you call them ungrateful for not eating their food. You then criticize every single personality trait the child has, telling them they're too shy or timid. When they start to tell you they don't want to visit anymore, you question them, call them ungrateful, a waste of time, and useless to you. The child begin to not have a liking for you, so they forever are ashamed to be your child. There you go dad, now do you understand? I know my dad wasn't abusing me, but I guess take it lightly because I'm some you guys have gone through worse. IDK what it's like to be physically, mentally, sexually, and emotionally abused. Please take this with a grain of salt. Family making fun of you for stuff you said or did when you were a child, not even a teen. Sorry that kids say and do stupid crap but they don't deserve to be made of for said things well into their adult years. Really makes it frustrating to be around them sometimes. Parents manipulating their kids into making life decisions expected wanted for them. 
offering unsolicited advice to adult children when they led their life not the preferred way or the way the parents envisioned. Yup, this happens to me constantly to the point I can't make my own decisions because it's easier not to. The constant harping on me just doesn't do we end. It's easier to just cave than to have to be berated when I fail at something I tried to succeed at. Death by a 1000 paper cuts. Persistent non-stop picking throughout the day, every day, by different people. Even if it's mild at some point you just feel the world is against you, and all the faces blur on who is being the bully, it's everyone. Having two people who you regarded as your best friends, but always made fun of you. This happened to me when I was a kid, and back then, I didn't even feel like I was bullied. I always felt so unhappy, but for some reason, I always viewed them as my best friends and never even considered it bullying. Even when one of them left me to become friends with a person who I actually knew back then was a bully to me. And that friend who left me even asked me to not be friends with her anymore. Because that bully did not like it. And then later, when I had new friends, that same friend got mad at me because she thought I was neglecting her. I didn't know it back then, but this friend honestly was really toxic. She can have all the friends she wants but the only friend I can have was her. Having unrealistic expectations for new and or young hires. They will make mistakes, but that doesn't give anyone permission to verbally, mentally, emotionally, or financially abuse them. I know others mentioned high school examples, but my biggest bullying example always came from the adults in my family comparing the younger cousins. Like so and so has all this education in this or that field and not doing anything with it. You don't want to be like that do you? Or it's on you. If you don't make something out of yourself. Like so and so. Just ugh. Everyone has their own journey and story. It's not my job. To outwork. Outachieve someone else. Let me figure out. My own crap. Please. Boys bullying girls in middle school. It happened a lot of times and all I got told was that he does it because he likes you. He's just giving you some attention. Stop being so dramatic. Frick you grandma. He doesn't like me he's just a piece of crap. I had a middle school teacher who didn't even factor in the attention thing. He just straight up seemed to think that boys wouldn't bully girls if they didn't provoke them. Which is how I got a very stern talking to for having the audacity to get beat up by two boys. School age girls are particularly good at disguising their bullying as compliments. For example, oh, what nice shoes, are they from Walmart? Look, Hannah, Chelsea is wearing shoes from Walmart. The insult, for anyone not familiar with US culture, is that it's a way of saying Chelsea is poor and or doesn't have good taste in footwear. Then if Chelsea complains to an adult, the bully just gives a wide-eyed innocent look and says it was a compliment and they lose those shoes. It's a very nuanced way of insulting someone for sure. It's easy for them to get away with it without being scolded because most teachers are lazy and will only take action on bullying that is face value and obvious. Socially ostracizing people for having the incorrect opinions. You're not practicing good mental hygiene, you're just an awful person and taking your damage out on people. Exclusion is pretty bad. It's not bullying because they are not hurting or otherwise harassing the person but it freaking hurts badly. This includes everything from your friend group being upset with you and excluding you when you're 8 and when you're in college and all your friends are ghosting you. It's so psychologically damaging. It hurts your confidence, self-image, and much more. A lot of the people in my old friend group were very shall we say, unavailable some because they actually had issues with me, some because of their own mental and life problems. Either way, it freaking killed me for the longest time not knowing if I was being annoying or being crappy when it was really that these people were just not willing to communicate even when approached. I eventually learned that it's not my responsibility to constantly try to initiate things with these people and that if they weren't going to try then they clearly don't care about keeping my friendship. Despite that though, my self-confidence and social skills are damaged even 4 or so years later. 
There is absolutely no excuse for adults to not be able to sit down and maturely discuss with each other the problems in their relationship. The fact that so many adults choose to go ghost instead of confronting problems bothers me so much and even more so knowing how many people had to deal with the kind of crap I did as a result. You even see this issue in family courts where one parent will try to deprive the other of all visitation rights which is unbelievably freaking traumatizing for a child to have to be between. Crap is just ridiculous and there's no good reason for it. Making comments about the skinny guy. We all recognize making jokes nasty comments about overweight people as bullying, but for some reason are willing to accept it when a skinny dude is on the receiving end. That thing kids do where the entire friend group will surround you and one of them will have a conversation with you while all the other are watching and giggling because the entire joke is someone is talking to you. Or surrounding the person and just pushing them back and forth like a game of freaking ping pong. Criticizing and attacking someone and labeling it as helping by being honest. You're not honest. You're just a freaking butthole with a superiority complex. A dude in my friend group at school would let an attack on this one girl and would defend it by saying if I don't tell her how crap she is. She'll never know and she'll never stop being crap and other people will tell her. The others would eat it up. And I seem to be the only one who saw how cruel and gross it was. I remember telling them how awful they were and they honestly sat there all. I had a co-worker accuse me of bullying because I was questioning a work process she had put in place that meant she did less work and I did more. I was arguing with her they the process didn't make sense as the products would have to go to shipping then go to her and then back to shipping. Luckily my boss overheard the whole thing so when she accused me of bullying he said that wasn't bullying. That was a disagreement. She demanded that he send an email telling me what the process should be. So he did. The email backed me up with the process I was arguing for. Babying or infantilizing someone is often seen as harmless and even cute. I work with kids and I see it a lot with aunts and older cousins. They'll baby the younger child, sometimes in a really humiliating or embarrassing way and it just destroys them. High school teacher here, almost everything that comes out of their mouth. The vast majority simply have thoughts and say them, regarding appearance, weight, intelligence, race, anything. The surprising bit is they don't bully the obvious targets. You're safe if you're really weird or different. It's the slightly unique that gets so many mean comments, endless, or funny. Funny gets a pass. Learned this in 6th grade when I got tired of getting beat up. Constantly telling introverts they need to smile more, or they need to take a joke, or that they need to stop being so introverted. Actual bullying. Teachers will let that crap go on for years, but as soon as you fight back the teachers swoop in to save the bully. Reading through some of the comments below, much of the bullying behavior sound as if it happens at school, and is to do with gender. I experienced being the subject of bullying, although I had no idea until over 50 years later, by my sister. She would manipulate my brother and me into being mean to each other, teasing, humiliating, excluding one of us. I had no idea of the damage and impact this had on me until I finally exploded and told her what I really thought of her. Too many expletives to put down here. I disowned her as my sister, and have cut her children from my will, with the letter explaining all she has done to my brother and me our whole lives, through her jealousy, cruelty, manipulativeness, egocentricity and insecurity. If I had understood bullying behavior when I was younger, I would not have attempted suicide, would not have become such an angry, short-tempered person with such low self-esteem. Unfortunately children and parents don't see what is happening and the effects of bullying until much later. I think it can really hardwire the brain to be depressed, anxious, angry and for a sense of self-devaluation to occur. I was always a shy, awkward girl, and people would always say things to me to make me uncomfortable. I came to refer to it as watch the shy girl squirm. It's kind of hard to describe, and it sounds so obscure to anyone who wasn't also a painfully shy little soul in school. It would be things like sitting in class, minding my business, and having a big group of guys turn to me and say hey, do you like my friend here? Do you think he's hot or sitting at lunch and having some girl jump in front of me and ask where I got my bra while all her friends laughed at my dazed expression? It was just really crappy. I went to school with the same people since kindergarten. 
and so there was no way I was going to work my way into their established cliques. Adults advice of putting myself out there and talking to new people just wasn't viable when I was with the same pool of people I'd been with for years. I was just left alone, ostracized except for those occasional games of make the shy girl squirm. Graduating high school and coming out of my shell went hand in hand, and I'm a million times happier. I'm a well adjusted adult with good friends and a good life. I just wish my memories of school were a little happier. Oh my. I can completely empathize and you sound just like me as a kid Dean. I truly hope you are doing better now that you are out of that horrible environment. I know I am. The dumb picture that always recirculate of Pierce Brosnan and his wife, dedicating how great of a husband he is for being committed to his wife despite her weight gain, the mother of several of his children. The upvotes are just so upsetting. Being an adult and still being a bully. Lame people. So sad how the world works. Also, expecting me to get over being bullied or assaulted by someone and calling me a loser for being an adult and hating said person. LOL. Negative banter during smaller talk to kill time. Usually occurs when waiting in line. When someone feels anxious waiting for something. Or a similar scenario. Filling the dead air with negativity and brushing it off as a joke when it's something obviously apparent. Talking to someone and telling them they're rude for not wanting to talk back to you. How is it not rude to force a conversation upon someone? Redirecting conversations away from someone and disagreeing with their every point. Ooh I'm excited about this movie. I can't wait to go see. I'm actually more interested in ABC movie. I think it's adorable that people are still into this. Like, ugh, don't. Had a girl ask me to homecoming when I was high as balls. Thought she was serious for a week after till her friend told me it was a joke. Withholding information from someone to create a power imbalance. Happens a lot in work environments and, by definition, is considered a form of bullying. Toxic positivity. If you would only embrace the positive you wouldn't be so depressed. If you are angry you will make yourself sick. Passive aggression, negging and little jokes that are really backhanded compliments disguised as playful banter. Had a relative who would constantly do crap like this to get into my head. Had to go full no contact for the sake of my sanity. Parents teaches school staff dismissing the kids pleads for help against a bully. Their disregard is definitely bullying as well. Don't cry like, I get it. You don't want the person to be sad, but they are sad, let them be sad, stop telling sad person what to do. My favorite response when someone tells me this is oh, okay, you fixed it they then look at me and realize what they said wasn't appropriate or helpful. Becoming your friend to get closer to you to learn better ways to bully you, or maybe they do realize it's bullying and are just way worse people than I thought. When the unpopular girls would make mean comments about the popular girls, there were so many times in high school that I would hear people in my social group call a girl a SW for wearing makeup and shorts. A lot of these popular girls weren't even mean and didn't deserve to be talked about that way. For real and they all preach at girls supporting girls like, if you really believe that you'd practice what you preach who cares if you like 80s rock, doesn't make you better than a girl who listens to Taylor Swift lol. Sorry you prefer jeans over skirts. Doesn't give you the right to slut shame. If I ask you not to address me a certain way and you insist on doing it anyway because you don't think I should be offended. I legit quit my dream job after 6 months of my new manager refusing to stop calling me young lady. Pressuring someone who doesn't want to dance and insists they won't enjoy into dancing and then making fun of how they dance. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.